This is the Sony RX100VA. It's a point and shoot style camera that was released in 2018. It has a smaller one inch sensor and it delivers 20 megapixel photos and 4K video. It has an 8 to 25 millimeter lens, but really that's an equivalent to 24 to 70. It is nice and it's f1.8 to 2.8. And while the RX100VA is roughly the size of a deck of cards, it packs some really cool features like an EVMS, a flippy screen, and an ND filter built in. Sony has now made eight versions of this camera, but this one is my favorite. I've also happened to take some of my favorite photos with it. So, why do I love this little camera so much? Uh, for starters, the main reason is because of how small it is. It's very tiny, about the size of a deck of cards. I actually think it's about a half inch longer than a deck of cards actually is, and about the same height at 2.5 inches. Um, the, th the thing about it though is it does have a EVF packed into it that, that pops out of this little top here. And I think that just sells it apart from other point and shoot cameras and really gives you the feeling of that you're shooting a like quote unquote real camera versus something like your phone or other point and shoots that don't have one. Um, I did have the GR3 at one point. I did sell that to, to keep this one. Um, it's kind of the main reasons why it was the EVF for the main thing and the 28 millimeter lens where this one has a zoom lens of 24 to 70, which kind of fit my style better. I do shoot this thing in full auto. Don't really play around with it too much. The front dial here, that controls the zoom range. And normally I set that on 35 or 50 millimeters and just kind of roll with it like that. I do edit these photos the same way as I do my Fuji uh, photos. And I use the archetype process photos, uh, film processes on there. And I think for the most part, I can get the colors pretty similar. There are some differences, uh, obviously. When you're shooting with the X-T4, it's a much bigger camera. Um, and with the 35 millimeter f1.4 lens or 56 f1.2 lens, obviously you're not going to get the same look out of a small one inch sensor as you would that, or even full frame. You know, obviously that's a way step beyond what this little guy here can do. Um, but the fact of the matter is, I can put this in my back pocket, and I think that's what just sets it apart from other cameras. Um, they are kind of expensive. You know, brand new. I think they're still going about a thousand dollars. I wouldn't personally pay that. I think that I got this for about 700 as an open box model from Best Buy. And I think that's a good price, but I would even go cheaper at 500 bucks since it is about five years old at this point. You know, there's there's other cameras in that range. If you can actually get a XE4, that would be a better buy. And that would be even cheaper than this brand new if you were to find the two of them in stock. Um, but that's easier said than done to be honest. Um, there's some things that I don't really like about it. There's a little grip that I've added onto it here. I think that was about 20 bucks or something like that. I got that on Amazon and this little wrist strap. And I think both of them are like, you have to have them since it is so small, it's kind of hard to hold onto and gets kind of slick. Um, the, the front of this, and there is like literally no grip other than this little rubber stick on here. And I think, I think that's a good purchase. Um, also. Sony does make a battery kit, a traveling kit, and I think that is like one of the best inventions I've seen. I honestly wish Fujifilm had something like that. And it's just a little case, a little charging case, and uh, the battery goes inside, and you can charge the case up. And I think that's just awesome because this is still small. And then something like this, you know, this like GoPro, um, you know, really you can fit it in one of those little like one liter sling bags for a moment or you know, peak designs or anything like that. And that's kind of like the reason why I like this one so much because it is so small. And for example, we're going to Disney World here in a few weeks and I plan on just taking this 
in my GoPro and throwing it in my little sling bag and walking around with the two. And there is some times where I feel like maybe I should take the X-T4 and not this, but honestly, after I get back and look at the photos, it's not really an issue. Um, I think more of it is in my head that like, maybe I should take my bigger camera and maybe I'll see something that I really need to blow out the background for or something like that. But in reality, I mean, I'm shooting mostly at F4, F5.6 with the Fuji anyways. And what I'm using is not really portraits and or things like that, um, where I need a lot of zoom or wildlife um, or anything like that. So for me, this really fits my style a lot. And I don't use any of the video features and I don't need any of this like fancy other stuff. So basically I just use it as a point and shoot. Now, you know, I think a lot of people are searching for that, like this can replace film and digicams are coming back and things like that. And I don't think that I really, have that in mind when I'm taking this out with me and using this. Um, I'm mainly just using this to just capture a moment that's in front of me. Um, the, the photos that I shared, I mean, I took this to, to Philadelphia with me, Disney World. Um, the last photo is a picture of my mom, which is out to lunch. And, you know, I probably could have took that photo with my phone and it would have been just fine, but um, I didn't. And I used this and we we're right there by the window and the, the soft light and everything like that. And I really love that photo. And it might not have been something that I would have took with my Fuji for say, cause I wouldn't have carried that to lunch with me if we're just going out me and her. Um, so these are, this is the reason why I like this camera so much. Now, do you need one of these? Probably not. You know, um, I think you can just do just fine with your, your phone or, you know, if you do find one, the, the model three is the model I had before this. And I think that one is equally as good. Um, there's not a whole lot difference in the two of them that I can tell from my eye. Um, and that's probably, $300 at this point. I don't know. I would have to look on eBay or KEH. Um, but I mean, that I think that's for a, pretty much a steal at 300 bucks, you know, versus, you know, seven for this, another 400, you can get two of them. Um, so yeah, I, I wanted to make a little quick video about this and why I like it so much. Um, this is my first review. So, uh, it's been nice. I've been, obviously, if you've been watching my channel, this is all pretty new to me. So I'm kind of much winging it at this point. And, um, I don't want to make reviews in the sense of where I'm trying to sell you something or anything like that. I don't really like that kind of stuff. And obviously, you know, I'm not the, the best or most professional at this yet. And, I, you know, I'm learning a lot. So, uh, but this is a, a ton of fun. So I appreciate you watching this. Um, do the usual, I guess, if you'd like, if you found something great out of this, you know, the like, comment, subscribe. Um, no pressure, though. It's only if you'd like to. Um, I hope to get better at these. And I, th I think I've said this at every video I've made so far. And uh, the truth of the matter is I'm just surprised by how nice everybody's been. And I, I really do appreciate that. So yeah, this has been the, the Sony RX100V pros, small size, ND filter, EVF, uh, cons, you need a grip that you had to pay for, a uh, little camera strap. One's included in the bag, but I like this like bright red one for a moment. Um, and, and really the battery life is not too great. Um, but the extra batteries there, and then that, that goes into, again, having to buy accessories to, to make up for the camera shortcomings, um, which there are some, but nothing that a little sticky grip can do. So that's been it. Just a quick little review and then, you know, all that jazz. So thanks again. Uh, have a good one. And I'll, I can't say catch you in the next one. Who says that? I think, uh, MKB, MKBHD, he says that. So I can't say that. So, uh, next time I'll have a exit outro for you see ya bye this little camera so much um for the main thing it is uh small i love how pocketable this thing is also the fact that it has a evmf a evmf